subscribe to Gastroworks because. All right, welcome to Gastroworks for today's video. We're playing with this 1955 Oldsmobile. You already know it's good. So today I'm gonna remove the starter from it and this header. And then we have a bunch of things here on this list that we have to compile together. We talked about a number of those things in the last video at the end of it, but I wanna to get to removing this header from out of the car. I have to remove the starter with the header because of the way the header wraps around the starter. I know you guys can't see that, but I already got the collector unbolted. Now I just gotta get the wires off the starter and the two bolts that hold it in. And then I gotta remove all the header bolts up top that bolt it to the motor. And then all that will just fall right out of there. Ugh. I'm installing hose. <laughs> <laughs> We got these hose. Oh, we got this old hose. <laughs> it's an old hose mobile. The old, <laughs> the old, ho the old hose mobile. <laughs> Getting some old hose. It's not old. It's dirty. It's dirty hose. It's dirty hose. <laughs> <laughs> Get your hands off my dirty hose. <laughs> what do you think Clayton. about that, Clayton? You heard dirty hose. the transmission cooler lines in. What's <laughs> wrong with us? <laughs> it's okay. I can be wrong some of the time. 60% of the time, I'm right 100% of the time. I'm right 100%. Wait. 60% 60 60 of the time, I'm right all of the time. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Well, let's go see if we can make this little kitty purr. <laughs> Look, <laughs> this car's got dirty hose poking out the front. <laughs> we're gonna put the transmission cooler all the way out here, and we're gonna make a mount for the it's transmission be a cooler. Bracket. Yeah, we're it's gonna be like a, a mount. it's gonna be like a joust. It's a small oh. bracket that's gonna hang out there. You'll know when to stop behind a car when your transmission cooler taps their back window. <laughs> sure. Somewhere in this pile. Don't show my pile. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Don't show my pile. Somewhere in this pile there's a transmission cooler. <laughs> and it probably doesn't work. It probably leaks everywhere. So we found a place in the collector that's not welded. If you build headers for a living, you made bad choices in life. Yeah. <laughs> battery I could show you guys I put a patch in this right here you can well it's not right there but it's it's up here it's really hard to see but, but there is a square right there I had to put it in that battery tray to fix it <clears throat> You can't see through it anymore if you hold it up in the light. That's good. We got a hot header. All right, so it's early morning. It's 8.37 and it is 
46 degrees out today. It's not incredibly cold. You know, some of you folks, that's really warm. For me and everybody else down here, this is cold. So, we're going to give you all a cold start. adventures will be contacting Jim and Jim's wife Sarah we're trying to pick up as many parts as we can get for this thing so we can have it rolling and uh, ready to leave the door because it's it's in the shop and it takes up a lot of room so but we'll get it listen to this 454 20 bucks right there. <laughs> so, a couple things we're gonna do here while we wait on parts. We called Jason at O'Reilly's earlier and had him put together a nice, a second nice big list of parts here for Jim's old 55 we had him pick up some axle seals we got power steering lines transmission coolers on order fan switch and relay hopefully uh, we're talking about a fan switch that threads into the coolant passage so it, it it'll ground out as out it'll ground out at a certain temperature and then it'll cut off at another temperature and it it, it activates and unactivates the fan we got some vacuum lines ordered, radiator overflow, I don't know about that. <laughs> so what we're going to do while we wait on these parts to come in, because they should be here some point today, or they should be at O'Reilly's some point today, and then Jim's wife, Sarah, is going to go pick that up. Anyhow, we're going to work on this while we wait on these parts, so we're going to we're gonna do some body work. There's a ton of welding that needs to be done. i got a cotter pin and everything. I got a nut and bolt car and that's pretty much what I'm going to focus on personally is I'm going to make sure all these bolts are tight like rear shock bolts and I got a ton of stuff on the front end that needs to be tied up you can see that bolts not all the way down right there and stuff like that while that's getting done Katie's going to come in here she's going to do some welding as well we have some body work got a patch going in the door right there excuse all the burntness i guess there's some inside the door oh yeah that'll do it there's like a, a nice that's really nice let's see i bet it comes up right there here's katie what's up we got the old header welded up here the uh i just threw some engine paint over it it's not black but it's just some paint you won't necessarily see that this this header is really hard to see on the driver's side anyhow but that just keeps it from rusting it's already dry even so i could be putting the starter and the header back in it as well so that's what we're working on this morning until we get more parts
So, Oldsmobile, you suck. We hate you. It was a terrible division of General Motors. I'm glad they're gone. Anyways, we got the bulbousness off the end of the steering column there, so it's more like a normal steering column now. And we're gonna make it work with the steering rack. Michael's upset this morning. I'm not happy. He's not happy because Oldsmobile is a terrible division. So while we blare, while we blare copyrighted music in the background, I'm putting window wires in. <laughs> struggle is real so we're getting the steering rack welded in would you guys subscribe if i did this naked <laughs> well, <laughs> welding under a car yeah or if you'd rather subscribe if you'd rather not see that right hey yeah. you guys don't act right it's gonna be bad <laughs> it's gonna be real bad people need to be subscribing subscribe or get your eyes put out Ow. <laughs> so old Keith King would say, "Burn it hot, burn it hot." Well, I am filling a gap like <laughs> this big, a gap about the yay wide. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of powder coating. It's good for the lungs. It's great, man. That's how I can breathe so well <laughs> underwater. <laughs> oh, the head fell off the hammer. The head fell off the hammer. I'll get you another one. Luckily, we got a drawer full of them over here. All right, so we got some new axle seals in it. We've also, uh, you just seen Mil Michael, Nickel, you've just seen Michael weld up the um, steering rack. We've also got our fan relays and stuff hooked up. This driver's side header is installed. The header and the starter have to go in at the same time, but they're in there another gasket was put on this luckily there was like this is nice and in here little painless junction box this side over here is the ignition switched and that side over there is a constant 12 volts two separate things so there's that and then um we got a transmission cooler hooked up on it now so the transmission has a cooler on it it's as inset as I could possibly want it to be. I figure that's where you're gonna least see it through the grill opening and where it still pulls air through it from the um, fan. So and then also we've put rear axle seals in it. So all the rear brakes are back together. We got new shocks in there. They're tough to see in this super low lighting, but there's new shocks in there. We have the rear hangers. Oh. The rear exhaust hangers. There's another set further back, but we uh, these are more towards the middle of the car. Front is held by the uh, collectors and the headers up there, so I have to cut these off, make them short, so we don't have curb feelers on our exhaust. And then um, let's see what else. Y'all saw me working on this a little bit. I got half the doors. I have the window wiring back in the doors and this door and that door i just have to wait for some floorboard work to get done before i decide to route this over and into this door and into this door and then i have to add power to the system and i gotta wrap them up and make them to where they're nice and mint so but yeah here at gasser works 
Eh. Safety last. There we go. Keys in the trunk lid. So we we did a lot of stuff to this car. So far, we got a heater core in it again. Everything's back together right there. There's cut off the exhaust hangers. Everything's mint. Everything it's all mint. We're gonna crank it up. Michael here. Oh. All right. I have to crank it. Michael has to play with the carb. There's still no return spring. I got the uh, steering column out of it. You ready? Uh, fuel line. It, yeah, fuel line's rubbing on the ho on the belt right there. It just it instantly rubbed a hole in the hose right there. We were planning on shortening that, and I think we probably ought to now. Yeah, it's got a little pressure behind it. You're gonna get fuel everywhere. Sweet. Um, what do you think about that, Michael? Nope. I guess it was. I guess it was in park because I didn't hear the drive shaft going everywhere. Possum, what do you want? What is it? Tell me. Tell me, possum. Tell me. She says it's time to eat. She does say it's time to eat. No, that's not. F ah, that's tranny fluid. Antifreeze. It's antifreeze. This is the problem. It's all problem <laughs> so we fixed our fuel leak now Is it the, I can't tell, is it squirting out of the water pump somewhere? It's not that hose leaking, is it? Mm -hmm. That hose. Oh. It just started. No, oh, that's tight. She was steaming pretty good. Yeah, is leaking like you see it. That was good. Fired the damn about um cap off of it. I see doing? something kind of like splat, like a little drop of splashing up, but I can't tell where they're coming from. <laughs> oh, are you fucking serious right now? I mean, it's got to be coming from somewhere. Why did it all of a sudden start backfiring like hell? 
So we're having issues here with the Oldsmobile, if y'all can't tell, there at home. It don't even make sense. Michael says he's, well, this Michael says he's got fluids splashing in his face every time it backfires. It's almost like it's coming through a head gasket. Something. It's a bad one, too. It's like... And it's not persistent every time that cylinder fires or something either. We can't tell where that's coming from. We're gonna try to figure this out. Okay, so we had some plug wires swapped, we think. Let's try it out. You putting the bolt in upside down? Yeah, put the head in first. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you always put the head in first. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Go from the base? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> you go from the base. Just start at the bottom. I don't think Just this is at all how it's supposed to be. Is the hole not deep enough for the bolt? <laughs> Oh, what's happening here? This car has just got to fuck with us all the time. Is there already a broke off bolt in the, in the hole? Dude, I, it, it don't fit back there. Fire in the hole. It's the bottom radiator hose. It's the bottom radiator hose leaking everywhere. I think you need a bigger screwdriver to torque that thing down. Oh, dang it, man. Just one thing after another. Oops. Whoa. It's on your light right there. What is it? There's like bubbles of oil coming out of the little intake valley in the little low spot in the intake manifold. What is it got? A hole in it? That's what it would seem to me to cause that. Oh wow. There's a hole in the freaking intake. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> That would make it surge like that because it's pulling air through that, that intake runner. Right, right, right. You've got to be kidding me. How's there a hole in the freaking intake? Is it aluminum? Yeah. I think it's cracked from being warped or something. Like it's a, I don't know. I'd contact Edelbrock to tell them your product is a piece They've of shit. They've done painted this thing and everything. Crank it back up. All right. Fire in the hole. Oh, the fan does work.
We got the car running. We have a bunch of issues here. Like we got a, a small leak in the intake somewhere. It's somehow. a pinhole. It's like a pinhole. In the intake. It was seeping out of there. Thanks, Edelbrock. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Edelbrock. It's Elder Block. Elder Block. Elder Block. Adele Brock. So oh, it was running really hot because the, the, we can't set the timing dead nuts because we don't have a piece on the motor to tell us where to set the timing. So we need, we need one of those. Yeah. We're just doing it by ear, so. But but we have it running. We got a ton of bugs to fix before we it's actually running, running, and we can run it for a long time. The uh, fan system works wonderfully. It kicks on when it gets hot and stuff. It's hot but, right now. Yeah, so that's, we're gonna call that one a video right there. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to Gasterworks. Yeah. Born, you want to tell them to subscribe to Gasterworks and why? Subscribe to Gasterworks. Because. We'll find I you. I said so. <laughs>